Hello mates and welcome to the Baron Reviews with me the Baron and I thought I'd do a little Blade and Sorcery tutorial video to show you guys how to install mods post update 6. Ton of confusion, ton of misinformation flying around out there so I'm going to show you how easy it is to install mods both manually and automatically using Vortex from Nexus Mods. Let me just say first and foremost, check out the description below and there'll be time codes. So if you don't want to watch the whole video, you can just jump to the time code that's relevant to you. So first things first, the big why is of why did modern change? If you'd been using Mod Loader up to this point, you're probably very confused. And it doesn't help that there's a ton of random information being tossed around on the internet. That's not quite accurate. As was intended since early access launch, Cosby, the developer of Blade and Sorcery, had always planned to release the SDK, the SDK being the software development kit. What the SDK is, is it's a toolkit that lets modders add stuff to the game, for now, weapons. Now you might be wondering, well hang on a second, I was using Mod Loader for a good while. The thing about Mod Loader was, that was a third party application, and was pretty close to the weapon framework of the SDK because part of it was reverse engineered from the work in progress components that Cosby had created for the SDK. But you might wonder, well why not just stick with Mod Loader then? Well, because this is the official toolkit and it's open source as was always intended by Cosby. Open source means that any modder can tweak it, add to it, improve it, and it's accessible for everyone. Mod Loader on the other hand was closed sourced and needed to be updated every single update. So basically every time there was an update, mods would be kind of held hostage uh, until the Mod Loader was updated. It also means that mods can now be loaded natively, which means it's just like the JSON files back when the game first came out. You don't need anything special to install the mod. You can install mods just by dragging and dropping, or you can use a mod manager by Nexus if you want to do it automatically. For now, the SDK allows for weapon mods to be installed. Map modding is not ready yet, but it will be coming soon, as soon as all the dust settles from U6's launch. So, this all means that mods can now be installed two ways, automatically using Nexus Mod Manager's Vortex, or manually. And I'm going to show you how to do both. To install mods automatically, we're going to use Vortex. Vortex is the mod manager provided by Nexus Mods. Now Vortex is a completely optional piece of software. You don't need this for mods, remember. This is just if you want to have a mod manager. What's nice about Vortex is because it's the official mod manager of Nexus, Nexus is the actual place where most mods for Blade and Sorcery are going to be uploaded. So it's quite nice to have the mod manager working hand in hand with the place where most mods are going to be. So to get Vortex going, first of all, you're going to want to install it. A link to Vortex will be in the description below. When you install it, the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your directory for Blade and Sorcery. So to do that, you can either scan for games down the bottom right, or you can just pick supported and then look for the game in question. In this case, it's going to be Blade and Sorcery. I'm going to go ahead and click on the game in supported and then click manually set location. If you install the game on Steam, it's going to be located in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Blade and Sorcery. Or if you install the game on Oculus, it's going to be in your Rift directory, Software, Warfrog, Blade and Sorcery. Now that Vortex is installed, all you're going to want to do is go to nexusmods.com forward slash Blade and Sorcery, link will be in the description, and find the mod you want to install. Now here's a big asterisk. Mods that are going to work right now are, are the latest mods. In other words, older mods are not going to work. They've got to be mods that have been updated since U6. So right now, because U6 is only two days old, there's only going to be a handful. But as modders update their mods, there's going to be more and more to choose from. So just take that into consideration. If you're trying to install a mod that is dated June 27th or before, it's guaranteed not going to work. So just keep that in mind. So we find the mod we want to go with. Let's go with this tactical shovel. To install the mod using Vortex, all you're going to do here is click on Files, Mod Manager Download. You'll see a little download, but don't worry about it because the download will actually, in fact, start automatically. So head back over to Vortex and you'll see a little pop up in the top right saying Download Finished, Install or Dismiss. Go ahead, click Install. Sometimes you'll see a little pop-up that says deployment necessary, so go ahead and click that, and then just click enable. 
Then you can go over to mods on the left hand side. And there's your mod. Easy peasy. If you wanted to get rid of the mod, all you have to do is go to where it says enabled and click uninstalled or disabled. If for some reason using Vortex is not your cup of tea and you want to do everything manually, you can totally do that too. Let's test it out with this Gladius mod. So to do this, manual installs, just go to your mod, go to files, but instead of clicking mod manager download, click manual download. It'll ask you where you want to shove your mod. I'm just going to put it on the desktop here. And you'll get a zip on your desktop. Open up that zip, you should see your weapon mod, and then here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to go to your blade and sorcery root directory and find blade and sorcery data, open that, stream and assets, open that, and then just shove your mod in here. And that's it. And you can see in here the tactical shovel I installed earlier. Uh, you can see Vortex has installed it automatically for me. So that's why I kind of advocate using Vortex. It's just a little bit easier. Now to test out the mods have worked, let's pop open Blade and Sorcery and check it out. So here we are in game and now let's check out if our mods loaded correctly. So remember, your, mod, your weapon mods are not going to appear in the rack. The rack is for storing your favorite weapons. Your mods are going to appear in this little spawner book. So to find them, all you got to do is check the category of whatever the mod is. So remember, we installed a Gladius, which is a sword, and a shovel, which I'm guessing is exotics. Yep. And all you got to do is find your mod. There it is, Gladius. Little description, a mod author's name, and click spawn. There you go. And then, oh, Jesus. And then over here in exotics, there's our shovel, spawn, and there you go. And that is it guys, it's as simple as that. There was a lot of confusion going around about how mods are working in U6, but it is really as easy as that. So that's really it guys, I'll leave it there for the day, and do check the description down below for links to everything I've talked about. Hope this demystifies what's going on with modding and makes your lives a little bit easier. That is it from the Baron, thanks for watching, and until next time, cheers.